Donald Trump revokes press credentials of six news outlets. Californian governor Jerry Brown is in the middle of a corruption investigation. Nancy Pelosi's son arrested for murder. Obama and Michelle to divorce. Malia Obama is expelled from Harvard. Can you believe these? In the past two years, the world has experienced a terrible menace of fake news. It's right from the 2016 presidential election involvement to the mob lynchings in North India. So what is fake news? Any unverified article that is being published to influence public opinion is deemed as fake news. Our conventional sources of news are no longer reliable. Fake news can be published in many forms and can influence us subtly in many ways. Even one-sided articles that do not disclose the complete facts are deemed as fake news. So how do we identify fake news? To be very frank, fake news articles are written with as much of detail as the genuine news articles. And so distinguishing between both of them becomes very, very challenging. For starters, we must start relying on the most genuine news sources which include the UN reports, government websites, state-run media outlets, and press releases. Many a times, these sources may not be available to us, in which case, what is best is to Google about a particular news article. If you are finding multiple news sites reporting the same article, then the article is likely to be genuine. This is because fake news articles are published at at the most one or two websites. Sometimes we come across news articles which aren't completely fake but do not point out all the facts either. This often occurs in the case of international news. For example, the Indo-Pakistani surgical strikes. The Indian government had claimed that the Indian troops had conducted surgical strikes on the Pakistani soil which resulted in the death of a few terrorists while the Pakistani state-run media had constantly maintained there was no crossage of the border by the Indian troops. In such a case, we must refer to the news articles published by the media outlets in both the countries. As a fair global citizens, the onus of preventing this fake news menace lies on us. Let's start by not relying on Facebook posts or WhatsApp forwards or Twitter tweets unless they are from our reliable sources of information. If we come across any articles or posts or WhatsApp forwards or message forwards which we feel are not accurate, we must always point it out to the sender. In the case of Facebook posts, we must report the page or report the user or report the administrator of a particular page if we believe that any fake news is being propagated. In case the news may have adverse consequences such as killings, riots, mob lynchings, it is best to report the incident to our nearest cyber cell branch. Together, we can help to alleviate this menace that has gripped the world in the past two years. Thank you.